Welcome back to this video. We can consider one of the university question and its solution in this video. And the question is from module 5. Okay. Actually, the question is based on the design of an ALU. Okay. Here, the question is given like this. Design a 4-bit adder or subtractor circuit with one selection variable S and two inputs A and B. And when S equal to 0, the circuit must perform A plus B operation. And when S equal to 1, it performs A minus B. And by taking 2's complement of B. That means we need to implement this A minus B as the 2's complement addition of B. Okay. So actually this is for designing an ALU that perform 2 operation. Design a 4-bit ALU that performs two operations. When the selection variable value becomes 0, it performs the addition operation. And when S equal to 1, it performs the subtraction. Right? And the subtraction is implemented here using the 2's complement addition format. Based on this given information, here we can consider this function table. With S equal to 0, the expected output is F equal to A plus B. Right. When s equal to 1, the expected output is f equal to a minus b and can be implemented as the 2's complement addition. f equal to a plus b complement plus 1. Okay. So, this is the expected output of our ALU. So, based on this information, for obtaining f equal to a plus b, what is the expected c in value? For the c in value, it must be 0. In order to get f equal to a plus b as the output of parallel adder. Similarly, for f equal to a plus b complement plus 1. What is the uh, value of c in for the parallel adder? The c in must be 1. Then only the parallel adder perform this a plus b complement plus 1 operation. Right. So, we can fix the value for c in based on the two given operations right now consider a general uh, diagrammatic representation for our alu okay and for this alu we need a parallel adder circuit parallel adder is actually n full adder circuit series n bit parallel adder means that parallel adder consists of n different full adder circuit. Right? That n full adder circuit, each of these adders deals with one of the bits of our input A and B. Okay? If we want to perform n bit addition or n bit subtraction here, we need n full adders in this parallel adder. And each of this full adder deals with a single bit of AI, a single bit of A input and B input. Right. So, this XI and YI actually indicate the input of each of this full adders present in this parallel adder. In the given question, we need to implement a 4-bit adder subtractor circuit. Right. That means in this parallel adder, we need 4 full adder circuits. And for the first full adder, the inputs are x0, y0. And for the second full adder, x1, y1. And for the next, x2, y2. And for the last, x3 and y3. Right. And these four full adders together generate the exact output of this parallel adder. Okay. So, this x i and y i indicate this input to this full adders x i and y y y i representation indicate sometimes it is x 0 y 0 x 1 y 1 x 2 y 2 x 3 y 3 etc right and this combination circuit actually decides the value of this x i and y i input right this combination circuit the circuit may be different for different functionalities right and this combination circuit decide the x i and y i input and for this combinational circuit, we need to uh, provide certain inputs like this AI and BI and the selection variable. These are the actual given inputs. 
A input and B input and selection variable. Right. So, this is actually the general syntax. And the only one difference is variation in number of selection variables. In our given question, we need to perform, uh, we need to design ALU with two functionality. In order to distinguish between two different functionality, we need only a single selection variable. Suppose you are asked to design a circuit that perform four different functionality. In that case, we need two different selection variables. And again, you are given with eight different functionality. In that case, we need to use three different selection variables. So that two raised to three, eight, three is eight. Using these three variables, we can uniquely distinguish between eight different functionality then. Okay, so this is the general syntax. This AI and BI actually indicate various bits of our A input and B input. Right, so uh, the task, the UI, uh, uh, and for the designing of an ALU, the task is to find the exact combinational circuit that decides this XI and YI input of our parallel adder. Okay, so Consider this functional table again. Based on this, we can generate this table now. With s equal to 0 and c n equal to 0. And we need to consider all possibilities of ai and bi. And this xi and yi actually indicate the input of our two ladder. Present in our parallel ladder, right? So, what are the four possibilities for this AI and BI? 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. Okay. So, based on this information, move to this functionality. The expected output is A plus B. That means we need A part of our input and B part of our input as such in our parallel adder output. Right. Whatever value given to A and whatever value given to b which is directly needed in our output function that is f equal to a plus b without any modification we need to add the a bit content and b bit content right so from this we can conclude that whatever value is available in ai which is directly connected to the xi input of our parallel adder Similarly, whatever value is available in our bi input which is directly provided to the yi input of our parallel adder. That means whatever value available in ai which is directly provided to this xi input, whatever value provided to this bi which is directly transferred to yi input. So that this f become a plus b. Okay, and also in order to get this A plus B as the output, this C in value become 0. Okay, so based on this information, so whenever 0 comes here, which is directly passed to this XI, whatever value is possible for this A, which is directly connected to or transferred to X. Similarly, whatever value given to B, which is directly transferred to Y here. Right, this is the case of our first function. Now consider the second function with s equal to 1 and c in equal to 1. These are the same for possibilities of a and b i. Right. Then from this output it is clear that whatever value is available in a i which is directly expected in our output function. Right. And whatever value is provided for our bi input, its complement is expected in our output function. Because here it is b complement, not it is b. It is b complement. So whatever value is provided for a which is directly needed in our output and whatever value is provided for b, its complement is expected here in output. And this one is available here. Because C in is set as 1 here. Because of this, this 1 is transferred to the output function. Okay. So, in this case, whatever value is passed to this A, which is directly transferred to this XI. 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. But in case of B, 
whatever value is provided to this bi its complement is transferred to yi because here we want to perform a plus b complement plus y so whenever it is zero the yi become one whenever it is one it becomes zero right so this is the meaning of this table implementation okay now we need to construct the cam app simpli simplification for this output x or this parallel ladder input xi and yi this will decide the combinational circuit right so actually this from this particular diagram it has decided that whatever value is provided which is directly needed in our output that is why whenever the zero uh, is provided here which is directly transferred to this x and whenever the zero is provided to bi which is directly transferred to yi and similarly when one become here it is transferred to this xi and when zero become here it is transferred to yi and about the next function that is about this a plus b complement plus one next function whatever value is provided here which is directly transferred to the output so ai is directly connected to the xi or ai value is directly transferred to this xi and the complemented form of our b is transferred to yi so whenever it is zero its complement is transferred here one zero zero one one zero right so from the table we can consider now the xi value only from this it is clear that what is available in ai which is directly passed to xi in both the cases right in sorry in both the cases in this case and this case in both the cases whatever value is provided to ai which is directly transferred to xi so we can say xi is equal to sorry xi is equal to ai itself now we need to consider this yi yi okay but in yi in the first case when s equal to 0 and c equal to 0 whatever value is possible here in this vi which is directly transferred to yi but when s equal to 1 the condition is different whatever value is possible here in bi its complement is transferred for yi so we need to find out the proof table sorry we need to uh, consider the circuit implementation for this particular functionality so that we need to uh, consider this cam app simplification so based on this information here we have these two one comes here and these two ones comes here while simplifying this the expression is like this s complement bi and s bi complement what is it actually x complement bi plus s bi complement is actually s xor bi right s xor pi so this is the combinational circuit that decides the y input of our parallel adder so based on this information we can decide or design this circuit for four bit adder or subtractor circuit we need it is four bit circuit so for such parallel uh, for such full adder circuits are required here this uh, four full adders together form our parallel adder x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 x4 y4 form the input to each of these full adders okay this a input is directly connected with x1 here this a2 connected with x2 a3 connected with x3 a4 connected with x4 directly okay and next about the yi input yi input is the is set as the output of a combinational circuit that is sxor 
pi so this is s xor this is the xor gate representation x xor bi decides the yi input of each of this full labels which is obtained from this kmap simplification s bar bi plus s bi bar that is s xor bi so based on this we can implement this combinational circuit for deciding the y input of each of these full adders. So this is the actual output of our or the answer to our question. Right? So follow these steps in order to solve any such questions. Okay? Thank you.